Hey guys, you got Bear down there and I got Angel over there. It's getting pretty close to their dinner time, so Angel's actually attentive. Uh, but anyway guys, uh, I wanted to do a video on my top five favorite bass movies. And, you know, uh, this of course is not going to be a complete list and there are all kinds of lists you can go out and find on the internet. And, uh, but I wanted to go over my favorites and why they're my favorites. Uh, the first one, is The Haunting. And maybe it's because it's so familiar that I like it, but uh, I don't know. That movie isn't necessarily a, a critical success. <laughs> it's not, you know, the most, uh, uh, I don't know, not the best re reviewed movie in the world, but the bass is really impressive with it. And uh, particularly the bedroom scene where, you know, the bed is coming alive and the room comes alive and all this stuff. Uh, when I first had a, a dual set of subs, it was just like I was in a movie theater at that point. Absolutely impressive movie and a great demo uh, for people that want to get into it. And, you know, really when you get a new set of subs and you really want to put them to work, that's a great movie to, to watch. Uh, second one, uh, number two, is Jurassic Park, the original. Uh, you know, the T-Rex the attack scene where the you know the cars break down and all this good stuff I, you know it, it's a i mean it's old like mid 90s or early 90s i think 93 uh so it wasn't it's not like one of these brand new movies where everything is just perfect but man it is still really fun to watch on good subs uh, i really enjoyed that one uh you know the next one is star trek um i think it's into the darkness i should have this written down right <laughs> but Whenever the ships take off and, you know, uh, it's just such a kick and such a fun movie to watch with good subs. Uh, real impressive. And then uh, Transformer Age of Extinctions. Or Transformers Age of Extinction. Sorry, guys, I'm getting a little tired here. Uh, but that one's a good one. You know, particularly with things, I mean, it's Transformers. Pretty much any Transformers movie is going to be good in terms of base. I, they, it, it's one of those movies that it's kind of a known go-to. Uh, now, the next one is, I, I, I'm, I'm going to mention it cautiously, because if you just got new subs and you put this movie on first, you're going to think it's too much. You're going to think, what did I do? It's too much bass. But once you've listened to it and you've watched some other movies and you've watched some stuff like uh, Cosmos is another favorite of mine, and you've... you've got your subs dialed into the right volumes, got them all measured and, and matched right. It's something you got to do with your ears as you go. And once you know that your subs are dialed in and sounding right, then you can move to Ragnarok. And it's a subtitled movie, and it's just such a cool flick, um, but the bass in it is so heavy it's almost overdone. Almost. It's if you If your subs are a little too far overdriven, It'll sound like it's overdone. But if your subs are good and matched, it'll just be really, really bass heavy. I mean, we're talking, it's really bass heavy. So, uh, so those are my, yeah, that should be one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's five. Now, I, I'm going to give you a couple of bonuses. Uh, Age of Ultron, I really like that one. Uh, it's got James Spader in it. I, I don't know. He makes a great villain. Uh, good, pretty good movie. Uh, but the last one is Titanic, and I'm throwing Titanic in there because, you know, uh, most of these movies that I've given you so far are not necessarily uh, super wife friendly. Uh, <laughs> some of them are, of course. It just depends on your wife. Um, my wife is not super huge on all of those movies, but Titanic was fun. It was good and it was enjoyable. And when the ship's breaking up and you can hear it groan and mumble and, and all that stuff, this rumbling bass, uh, it's cool. And, and so that's a good one to enjoy with your spouse or whatever. Uh, you know, pretty fun. Uh, and one last more, one last one I'll throw out there is Finding Nemo. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, both uh, Titanic, Age of Ultron, and uh, Finding Nemo and Jurassic Park, I believe, are all 3D too. I believe you can get them all on 3D. So that's kind of cool. But anyway, guys, I thought I'd just throw out uh, some of my favorite bass movies that I like to use for demos and just to, you know, show new people what good subs are all about and what they can really do. It's a lot of fun. So, and I know when you guys go out and you get a good 
set of subs. It's fun to put them through their paces, and these movies will do that. So I'll put some links below uh, to these movies, and you guys can check them out. Uh, I've also got them on my uh, Amazon store. I've got a Subwoofer 101 on Amazon store. You know, I don't make a ton from that, It's you know, but it's just a little extra way for you guys. Uh, if you want to support this channel, it doesn't cost you anything extra. Amazon's usually priced pretty competitively, so uh, I put some base movies in there and, and stuff like that, so I'll put the link to that down below too. Uh, but anyway, those are my favorite guys, and I appreciate you watching. I appreciate all the support. Uh, just hit a thousand subscribers recently, and that was awesome. Uh, looking forward to hitting 5,000 and then beyond from there. So uh, thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.